everyone, Mr. Mercury here, and today I've got part 15 on how to make a Discord chatbot. And in this video, I've, I've got more stuff which was commented, and that is going to be how to create a full on log. Um, so that's where the user joined, left, um, and all things like that. And also how to stop the bot from replying or being a bot in like PMs. Um, so we'll do that first because it's really simple. Um, what we'll do is on our message received event, and um, you can check. We're checking if the if the uh, message was from the bot, and um, we can keep that there. Uh, and in the else statement here, we just want a new if, and we're going to check if the message um, dot channel dot is private is equal to true. And if the channel is private, then what we're going to do is send a message. Send we, well, you could either ignore it at all, because obviously you don't want the bot to work here. Or you can just send a message back um, saying something like um, the bot has been disabled in PMs. Uh, please use dot help in a channel. Something like that. Maybe you could send an invite link to a channel which the bot is in or something. And what you do is you'll have an else statement there. And then inside here is where you want all of the bots code as usual um, so all you do is you'll come down copy it all uh, we're inside the first diff so we'll leave it there we'll copy and what we'll do is we'll come up and paste it back in there just like that and then now what that's going to do let me just double check that's in there correctly um, it seems like it is yeah so basically if the channel's private that means it's a PM so um, if if it does get like let's say a command or not even a command just a message it will just say it's been disabled um, not to it will say disabled now in the PMs um, just like that and that's fairly straightforward and now onto the log um, so if you remember usually you can add it just like that list box to items to add um, but if you use it in here we had to make the function called uh, add line which is just here you can see it if we go to it um, I'm assuming if you're watching this video you've watched up to this point so if you have you should have this function if not you can copy it now um, just like that and then what we'll do is on our events which we have met or well, I've showed you how to make various events in the past we've got the unjoined on deleted and such but there's a lot more to it so let's say a user joined the server what we'll do is we'll use our add line function and then what we can do is just say e we've got the user e dot user dot let's say name we'll add on uh, join the server and this other code here is will send like a welcome message in this in the channel they join and um, so you can ignore that there um, so that we'll add in a line and actually the person who suggested this um, I forgot what your name is but I believe you wanted to date as well um, so what you what you can do is go back down to where I put it and you can have the date time uh, I thought it was dot now or time dot now is it I think it's just now. So you can say now add on uh, e again. Or add on, let's say a colon there. So what's happened is the date and then user join the server. What you can do is if we copy this whole function and bring it down, and we'll remove the contents apart from that, and we can check. Discord and we can get all the events here so this is where you really want to look for all the logs you want to create so um, let's say someone leaves the server we'll do that one uh, so what we do is say now we'll keep it there um, e.user.name will be fine and we'll say left the server and what's happened there uh, cannot handle event because they not do not have a compatible signature so what that means is we need to change 
let me just go to this server event args so we'll change user to server event args and well, now we've got to probably change it so e dot server hmm so uh, that might be well that's I think that's when you leave the server actually so that could be my bad there's a user left to right there and then it was probably the same so that was just my bad we can probably change this back to user.name and yeah so we'll take that dot away and there you are there's the left and we'll just do it one more time we'll see what else we got so there's user joined left band so yeah we can do band um, user.name was banned and actually what I forgot to do is rename the function so on left and then we'll have on band and I'll go ahead and do one more just for unband as well just so you, you should hopefully have the idea by now user dot unband and we'll say it was unband just like that and now I rename that now we've got four events which are going to log to our main log here and then what you might want to do with that well you can either have it save automatically or I'll show you how to just create a simple little button um, we'll call this save log and what we'll do is we'll just use a open file dialog to save it to a file so first thing we do is we'll say dim save um, is equal to a new save file dialog just like that and then what we can do is say save dot title will be equal to save log and what we'll do is we can tell the open file dialog which file type we want to use so we can use dot filter and what, the way we do it is we'll say text file we use this line here use an asterisk and say dot txt and that will um, this will be like the title which you'll see on the open file dialog and then this is the format of that file um, obviously we'll just use a text file for it as it's nice and easy so what you can do is say if save dot show dialog is equal to um, dialog result ok so that means the user pressed ok that way we know um, that they have actually pressed ok so we got the location of the file they want to save so we'll create dim a stream writer we'll say s writer just like that um, that will be equal to a new io.stream writer and then we have to give it the file name but because we're using the file dialog we can say save dot file name because they've already pressed ok so now this is going to write to wherever the user or you suggested it should be saved to and now we just want a simple for loop um, for each item uh, as a string in list box one for items so what that's going to do is loop for every item in the log and we're just going to say s writer dot write line and we're just going to write uh, the item to to the uh, file and after that we just want to dispose of it because we're done with it now s writer dot close um, just like that and that is a simple way you can save it uh, to your desktop or wherever you want so we'll connect to the bot what we'll do is we'll go up to discord you can see I did a bit of testing earlier on but if I type help in here in the PM you can see if the, the new message I entered was the bot has been disabled um, that's because we're in a PM but now if I go into the server chat and I'll type help you can see the bot still replies how it should um, just so that that is the uh, disabling of the um, PMs and now you can see we've got two items in the log I can't obviously show you user join user left and all that stuff and um, because I've got no one to do it but I've got the uh, time here that we connected to discord I used the command 
um, but obviously the log would fill this up eventually and what you can do is press save log and then well that's that's gonna log in the um, discord bot debug folder what we'll do is we'll just go to the desktop real quick and I'll save it as log and you can see it's text file like we wrote and it's a text file we'll hit save and we'll close that off and I'll quickly open that up and you can see we've got two lines in here with the time I connected and then the command I used so that is the log how you'd save it and don't forget that is probably one of the worst ways to do it because it is a bot so it should be automatic but it's fairly simple to do that as well I just showed you a pretty basic example there um, so yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoy it if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time